Alright, good day student. As you can see, what we have today is geometry. The question goes like this. A cone of total surface area A equals to 243 pi over 4 cm square is inscribed in a circle as shown in figure G23. If its slice height L is equal to 9 cm, find the radius R of the circle. The second question the area of the circle not enclosed by the cone so we are to take it one at a time so let's um, begin by finding the area of the the radius of the what the radius of the circle so let us um, first um, see what was given to us we are told that the total area total surface area A is equals to 243 pi over 4 cm squared and also we are given the slant height slant height H we are given to be we can call it L ok L equals to 9 cm so these are two things that is given to us from the uh, figure G23 and we are to find the radius of the circle and the area of the circle not enclosed by the cone. So let's clean here, we have specs. So the first thing we have to do is to let us find the base radius of the cone. Base radius of the cone is the first thing we are to find. So this is the cone. This base radius QB here will be R and here will also be R. So this is the first thing. Since we are given the area, we have to know that the area of a total surface area of a cone. Total surface area of a cone. A is equal to in this case is equal to what? Pi R L plus pi r squared that is this uh, curve surface area and the base surface a base area so in this case we are given that also we are given that a is equals to 2 4 3 pi divided by 4 so and also we already given the slant height since a we have to include the two area of the surface total surface area of the cool so in this case this is the same as pi r we know that l is 9 so you put 9 here plus what pi r squared so from here we have 2 4 3 pi divided by 4 is the same pi is common you bring it r 9 r r squared so that pi will cancel pi now the next thing we have to do is to I rearrange the equation on one side maybe in the left hand side in the right hand side because here is positive so in this case you have to cross multiply we have 243 is the same as 4 in bracket 9r cross r squared so if you open bracket you have 36r plus 4r squared is equal to 243 so 243 crosses the other side we, ha we have 0 here we are arranging the equation we have 4 r squared plus what 36 r minus 243 so the next thing we have to do is to solve the equation the quadratic equation that is formed in r the next thing is to do what to solve the quadratic equation that is formed in the r so this is the same as 4 r r squared plus 36 r minus 243 is equals to zero so let us use the general formula of solving quadratic equation in this case we have this general formula r to be equals to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a where in this case a is equals to 4 b is equals to 36 and the word C is equal to minus 243. 
so with this we have to substitute the formula we have to substitute these values in the formula to find the value of r so r is the same as minus 36 plus or minus the square root of b squared in this case we have uh, our b is 36 36 squared minus in bracket we have 4 times a a is what 4 and c is equals to minus minus 243 so divided by what divided by 2 times 2 times 4 so the next thing is to simplify this um, equation so use your calculator that easy for to find the value in the square root sign in this case we have r to be equals to minus 36 plus or minus what the square root of what divided by 2 times 4 will give us 8 so do that with your calculator from my calculator i have 5184 so the next is to solve for 5184 find the square root of 5184 I think it's, it's a perfect square. So when you do that, you have that R is equal to minus 36 plus or minus 72 divided by 8. In this case, we have to take the positive part of the R because we are measuring length. So you take the positive part of the R. In this case, this implies that R is equal to minus 36 plus 72 divided by 8 so it's the same as 72 minus 36 72 minus 36 is the same as 36 divided by 8 so the next is to simplify what can divide 4 can go 4 divide 8 will give us 2 4 divide 36 will give us 9 so we have 9 over 2 once you arrive at this point we have gotten the value of r so we can clean here we have that r is equals to what therefore r is equals to 9 over 2 cm now we have gotten the base radius of the cone our base radius of the cone is equals to 4.5 or 9 or divided by 2 so the next thing you have to do is because the first question you are asked to find the radius r of the circle the radius r of this circle so this r is just the base radius of the cone so in this case you have that the next thing you have to do is qb that is the uh, QB, which is the diameter of the base um, base of the cone, is equal to 2R. In this case, we have 2 times 9 divided by 2, and that gives us 9 cm, because 2 can cancel 2. So once we arrive at this point, the next thing you should observe that we are told that the slant height, we are given that the slant height is equal to 9 cm. You know what is slant height? This is the slant height. Here is 9 cm. And here is also 9 cm. Then, then you notice that the triangle, this triangle you see here, triangle Q, H, B. They have the same side length. So, this triangle is what is a collateral triangle. And because it's a collateral triangle, and all the sides are equal, the all the angles must be equal. In that case, all the angles must be measured to 60 degrees. So, which means this angle here is 60 degrees. Now, let's clean here. So, the next thing you have to... We have that R is equal to 9 over 2. So... The next thing you have to do here is to find the which side is the 
uh, center of the circle so let's here be the center of the circle i can clean this part you just showing us the other side of the uh, base of the cool so let here be the center of the circle this circle so i can join q joining q o and then joining b o in that case if you join it this is o is the center of the circle o is the center of the i can call it bigger circle so it, it will not convince or confuse with the base uh uh the matter sorry the base uh, circle of the cone so let me call it big bigger circle i mean the circumscribed one so o is the center of the bigger circle so that in this case q o is equals to b o is equals to r where r is the radius of the bigger circle now the next thing you have to do is to uh, find angle angle q o b notice that angle q o b is equal to two angle two times angle q o h b the reason is that angle at center angle at center of a circle angle at center of a circle is twice that at the circumference at any twice that at any part of the circumference of a circle so we know that the angular center is what twice that at any part of a circumference of a circle which means that angle q o b angle o q o b q o b is equal to 2 times 60 degree and that gives us 120 degree so this angle here is equal to 120 degree the next thing is to consider triangle QOB consider triangle QOB so from triangle QOB QOB here is R the radius of the bigger circle from triangle QOB you can use cosine rule to find R which is which is equal to q o and this is equal to b o so by cosine rule you have q o b squared is equal to q o o squared plus what plus b b o squared minus in bracket 2 in bracket q o o multiplying the product of the two cos what cos 120 degree so now you have to notice that since q o is equal to b o we have to use one of them we have to substitute one of them here in this case we have q o b squared is equal to q o o squared plus q o o squared since they are equal minus in bracket 2 in bracket q o o i hope you are seeing it squared dot cos what 120 degree so the next thing you have to do is to is to substitute values you can substitute values for simplicity so when you substitute values for simplicity in this case you have from here we have qb we have already gotten qb to be uh, qb to be equals to 2r we, we said it before which is equals to 9 over 2 times 2 and that gives us 9 since they are all size are equal so in this case you have 9 squared which is qb is equals to these are the same so you have 2 in bracket q o squared the product 1 minus cos what 120 degree so from here 
What is the next thing you have to do? So, we know that cos cos 120 is equals to minus half since um, cos is negative in the second quadrant. So, cos 120 degree is equals to minus half. So, here we have it 1 is equals to 2 in bracket q o squared 1 minus minus half. So that when we open bracket here, this become plus. Is it not? So one plus one one plus half. One plus half will give us what? Two times one will give us two. Plus one will give us three. So three over two. In this case, we arrive at three over two. Notice that two can cancel out. So we have eight one is equals to Q O squared multiplying three. And clean here so let's bring it up so from here we have 3 q o squared is equals to 8 1 this is where we are the next thing you have to do is to divide both sides by 3 so that q o will be alone q o square will be alone 8 1 divided by 3. 8 divided by 3 will give us 2 carry 2 into 21 will give us 7 and this is the same as 9 times 3 so finding the square root of both sides you have QO is the same as the square root of 9 times 3 and this will give us 3 root 3 so we have that QO is equal to 3 root 3 and that is equal to BO and that is equal to the radius. So the radius of the circle is equal to 3 root 3 cm. If you don't have any questions, you have answered the first question. You are asked to find the radius of the circle and then find the area area of the what the circle not enclosed by the not enclosed by the cone. So let's clean here. We have gotten that the radius R is equal to 3 root 3 cm. So the second question is find the, the area of the circle not enclosed. This enclosed by the cone so how do we do that you know this is a circle not a circular ball so since it's a circle you only notice that the the part of the cone that is enclosed by the circle is the triangle cure hb this part of the circle this part, the base is just the outside the base was outside the circle was outside the circle so the only area of the circle this big circle affected by the uh, inscribed cone is just the part of the area of the cone that is cure hb which is the area of the triangle that make up one of the uh, area of the triangle that also make up the total area of the cone so in this case the let's call the this area the area of the circle not enclosed by the cone Let's call it A1, which will give us what A1 is equal to the total area of the circle. Area of the circle, which in this case is pi. This is pi r squared. Pi r squared minus the area of triangle cure HB. Not the area of the cone, because the base of the cone were outside as a circle just the this line that touches the the well of the circle that is circle we are talking about and this area part of it of the cone that is enclosed in the circle that's from uh, the area of the triangle cure hb so a1 is the same as the area of the circle in this case you have pi times r squared our r squared is 
3 root 3 which is you know that is 27 minus the area of the triangle the area of the triangle is half times since it's a, the the triangle is equal to the two sides are equal so half 9 squared multiplying the enclosed angle which is angle 60 so from here sorry half a1 is 27 by minus in this case we have 81 over 2 sin 60 is equals to what sin 60 is the same as root 3 over 2 so from here we have a1 so we can clean here so from here we have that a1 is the same as 27 pi minus half 81 root 3 divided by 4 you can still simplify it can we still simplify it yes we can stay what is common between 27 and the 81 what is their common factor so in this case i think uh, 27 is a common factor because uh, 27 times 3 will give us 81 so you bring out 27 outside have pi minus 3 root what um, minus 3 root 3 divided by 4 so we can still simplify this we can still simplify it find the LCM of pi uh, this is the same as pi divided by 1 so have 27 in bracket 4 pi minus 3 root 3 over 4 cm squared that is the area of the circle not enclosed by the not enclosed by the cone so let me write it here so in this case we have 27 in bracket 4 pi minus 3 root what 3 cm squared divided by 4 is the required area of the circle not enclosed by the cone if you enjoy this lesson before you go i urge you to please subscribe to my channel for more videos of this type for your view you can go to our website at www.manzananews.com slash ebook and buy books in geometry many of these types are, are treated there and many other examinable questions and solutions we help you a lot to do well in geometry click the notification button whenever we have new updates you'll be the first person to be notified like and share i hope you enjoyed this lesson see you in the next lesson bye for now